we actually um, do like Japan. It's actually one of our um, preferred markets uh, in, in, in the equity space at, at the moment. And it's really built around the view that we are still in, in a very, very robust, and, and I'm into my words, it's a very strong global recovery still in, in the second half of the year, even though we may have in, in some regions like China, like the US have passed you know, the fastest stage of growth, it's still a very, very strong um, global recovery. Japan is generally quite geared as a market towards that. Valuations are attractive. And I think people so far have really stayed away from Japan on sort of worries around the, the COVID and vaccination situation there. And I think if, if the experience of the last few months tells us, tells us anything where, uh, and I think about Europe here, where you see a market lagging, but clearly now getting the bit between its teeth in terms of vaccination, um, then, you know, in Japan, the news should be getting, should be getting better quite rapidly as well. Um, so for us, actually, that that's quite a good good opportunity to to um, to to get into Japan right now because it has lag despite all of these factors. Uh, but broadly, on Asia, you're slightly more cautious. What's underpinning that? Uh, yeah, and, and you know, you you used quite a lot of words earlier on in terms of like like mixed or uh, um, outlook, and I think that's right for Asia in the second half of the year. It's tough to generalize about Asia as a region, actually. Um, so we, we are we don't think it's a terrible outlook, but we think they are they are better um, better areas to be in, be invested in as as a whole. While we like Japan, we are much more cautious on the Chinese outlook, and obviously China is a huge huge part of um, of the market. And again, it's not a terrible outlook, but we don't really see what's going to drive the market significantly higher from here. We don't think that the triple R cut last week was the start of, of a major easing cycle, which might get you more optimistic. At the moment, we don't think so, um, that it will be the start of something more significant, but it's clearly something we need to, we, we need to, uh, we need to watch. But the data that we got out of China um, yesterday, the economic data, you know, it was, it was robust enough that it doesn't make you think that at the moment they, they have to embark on a major easing cycle. So, you know, you put that together. If you're not Did positive on China, you, uh, you can't be really positive on, um, on, on Asia as a whole. Korea, Taiwan, the other heavyweights, you know, they are clearly geared again to that global, um, to that global economic recovery and a growth and trade mm -hmm. cycle. But they've run a lot already. So, you know, as, as perhaps we see with, with that reaction out of Taiwan this morning.